In this tutorial, we're going to be learning the tightrope, which looks like this. Before I start this trick, I just want to let you guys know that this is an extremely hard trick and there's only a few people in the world that can do it. So if you practice and really learn this trick, you will definitely stand out as a Kanama player. So before you start to learn the tightrope, I would definitely recommend going back and looking at the airplane tutorial and the borders balance tutorial. Once you have those tricks down, then you can start the tightrope. So to begin, you're gonna to wanna to grab a used kendama that's pretty beat in and already has a dull, flat spike. I know that I said in my borders balance video that you don't necessarily need a flat spike, but for this trick, you definitely do. So like the borders balance, we're gonna start with the grip. You're gonna to wanna to turn the hole in the tama toward your hand and leaving the string on the outside. This allows you to pull the tightrope while leaving the string unobstructed. Now the next step is the pull up and this is by far the most important part of the trick. Just like an airplane or a borders balance pull up, you're going to do the same exact thing but you're going to add one more step. And that step is grabbing the string at the same exact time as you pull up. And you're going to want to grab the string about four or five inches away from the tama. So it all happens at the same exact time. So you pull up and grab the string at the same time. So once you grab the string, you want to make sure that you're pulling super, super tight. You don't want there to be any give between your fingers and the tama. If there's any give at all in the string, the spike will bounce right off. So you want it super tight. Now the next step is pulling the ken up so the spike gently curls over the top of the string. You don't want it to fall, you want it to gently curl over the top. To do this, you will definitely want to practice using your knees in the pull-up and then perfecting all of the mechanics of the pull-up in the first place. The last step is staring immensely at the tip of the spike so that it will meet the string. This really helps. I like to say you want to be the spike. The next step is balancing. Now this trick is especially hard because before you can even start to learn to balance the tightrope, you need to be able to make the spike meet the string. And that's all in the first part that I just talked about. So now that you're able to consistently meet the spike to the string, you can work on balancing. The first tip I have for balancing is keeping the tightrope perfectly level in every single direction. When I started this trick, it would always topple over to the side and I didn't understand why until I realized that my tightrope was not level. So you need to make sure that your tightrope is perfectly level so it balances. The last tip I have for balancing the tightrope is just like for the borders balance, you're gonna to wanna to use your whole entire body and your knees to make minute movements and balance. And also, just like the borders balance, you're gonna to wanna to stare at the base cup to give you hints on how to adjust the whole time. Once you're able to balance your tightrope, it's time to spike it. Again, just like the borders balance, you're gonna use the same exact technique. So you're gonna to wanna to drop the whole entire trick all of a sudden and then twist the tama so that the hole is facing up and spike it. And that's how you do the tightrope. 